Hello skeletons, it's Caroline here. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, as seen by that title, we are going to be reacting to some analog horror. Yes, it seems like you guys enjoyed the last analog horror that I had posted. Um, I did forget the name of, oh, The Ugly Ducklings. And I am ready to do another one. So this one is called Analog Horror family and this one is by urban spook we've reacted to some of um urban spook's other videos and yes i'm super excited you guys are probably wondering like what happened to the green wig well i just decided why not just let my hair loose featuring my cat Mwah! he's shedding so much so we're going to get started on watching the video please make sure you like comment and subscribe ow 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 ah. and let's get started <laughs> that's why are you fighting me he wants to play i'm watching i'm recording you later right Over the past few days, there have been numerous gruesome murder reports. One of the victims was the elementary school teacher, Isabel Jackson. Isabel called 911 in the midst of her attack. However, the address she provided led the police to, compl to a completely different crime scene. The address belonged to a family of three, Janice, Paul, and their son, Zeke. They were expecting a daughter in just a few months. Ugh, I'm getting the goosebumps right now. Right outside their home, police found a bloodied garden chair. What awaited the police inside the house was so shocking and repulsive that one of the officers requested a period of leave. Janice and Paul's bodies were found in the kitchen and both ruthlessly executed. The fetus had violently been cut out from Janice's stomach. Janice was then strangled to death with the umbilical cord. Was found dead a few feet away from Janice, tied to the kitchen counter with his mouth. Fetus was completely scared of all around the house. During autopsy, they found the head of the fetus shut down post. gosh this is disturbing this title this is the painting Police later managed to track down the real address of Isabel Jackson, though they were too late. The headless body of Paul Jackson was found right by the open front door. He had been stabbed in the chest several times. Everyone would expect to find his head a painting laying in its stud. It was titled Tiffany Hall. found Mary inside the bathroom. The lock to the door had been completely destroyed by a hammer drill. Looks like her multiple school fractures and a hole was drilled directly through her front door. 
Oh my gosh. The rolled up note had been put inside of the hole. The note read, I live where I can't breathe and I eat without teeth. What am I? emerged at this crime scene, unraveling new possibilities in the investigation. The presence of two sets of footprints in the blood suggests that there was more than one culprit. Police now firmly believe that whoever is behind these paintings and murders is not worth alone. As for why Isabel gave the address leading to another murder scene is still a mystery. Isabel 911 call stands as one of the most disturbing calls ever reported. Warning, what you are about to hear may be very distressing. disturbing like the background sounds and plus the headphones makes it even like it, my body like I felt so much chills um, that that was very very disturbing terrifying um, that was really bad um, Wow. All right. Um, bye, guys. <laughs>